Ooh. Oh, hot mommy, what do we got here? Whoa. <laughs> wow. Word? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a little bit exciting, a little bit different, a little unique. For the first time ever, I'm actually sharing with you guys a brand I've never shared on this channel before. Lululemon, anybody? Guys, I know what you're probably thinking. Where the frig have you been? They're like the hot topic always. So why haven't you talked about them before? So I'd be lying if I said this was my first time ever trying Lululemon. I have tried them twice before. My first time, I actually went to their physical store. It was just me, nobody else. It was like crickets in there and I didn't know what the frick I was looking for. It was very awkward. I was asking a ton of questions to the poor gals and I feel like I was just pissing everybody off. <laughs> I don't even remember which legging of theirs I tried on, but the lighting in the dressing room, everything was weird. I felt super insecure. I just left. Fast forward a couple years later, I actually ordered them online and I couldn't get the two that I ordered past my hips, so I returned those. Is it just me or is their sizing just a tad off than usual? I don't know. I'm comparing them to other brands I've tried and I went my true size and nothing fits. So comment down below if you're a Lululemon fanatic, help me out. So I sized up for today's order. I hope it goes well. So we're gonna go ahead, test out Lululemon's highest price legging with their lowest price legging and just see what happens. Where does the value lie? Is it better if it's more expensive? I have no idea, we're about to find out. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you are new to this channel. I do a ton of activewear style videos. I love trying new things out. So for more videos in the future just like this, subscribe and hit that bell, baby. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram for all things fitness, because together we got this. Okay guys, so we only have two leggings and my total was 256 USD, so I hope it's worth it. So first of all, I don't know what's going on with this packaging, but there's a lot going on in this packaging. So many different words and it's looking like really nice motivational quotes. So that's a plus. Okay, starting my video off, right? Mm. Ooh. Oh, hot mommy, what do we got here? I like forget what I ordered. Okay, whoa. <laughs> wow, word. First impressions, first impressions. Am I gonna like the cheaper one? I might. Okay guys, so here are the two leggings. Which one's the higher priced you asked? Which one do you think? Okay guys, so this legging right here was the lower priced one, $88. 88 USD for this legging. This is the Align High Rise Crop 21 inch inseam and it's in their rose camo color. Right off the bat, it's really soft. And I'm pretty sure I read somewhere or seen somewhere that their aligns are really popular. So just from first grabs, it's feeling real nice. Now this one over here, I don't know if you guys could see this up close. Oh my God. Rolling in at 168 USD. These are the Lab High Rise Train Tight. They only offered one inseam size at a whopping 28 inch inseam. So I already know this is probably gonna be uh, just a tad too long on me. So real quick, can we just take a moment to look at this freaking design? What the heck is going on here? So this is their foil glitch pattern and it looks like I'm looking through a kaleidoscope. There's so much movement, it's insane. I don't even know, my eye doesn't know where to look right now. Right off the bat, it doesn't have as soft of a feel as the Align, so I don't know how it's gonna actually fit. This feels like it might be a little bit more stiffer on the body. Whereas the Align seem like the buttery soft leggings that I love. I feel like the Align has a little bit more of my style. You have the high rise band, the buttery soft. I even like that faded out camo design. It's a really pretty rosy red with some tones of deeper, like darker burgundy colors. I will definitely be sure to have both of these leggings linked down below. We have an $80 difference between these leggings. So um, I think it's time to go ahead and try them on to see which one might be more worth your dollar bill, okay? Because these are both pretty expensive leggings. Can't deny that. All right, first impression right now, I'm in love with these leggings. Yes, I am. 
They were so easy to get on. I didn't even have to struggle. I do think I could have went with my normal like small size. Even though I sized up though, it's fitting like a glove on me. I love the design here, the faded camo. It's got my vote. I'm so happy I went with the 21 inch inseam because these are the perfect crop length on me. I don't like two crops, but I don't like overly long or else it's not a freaking crop. This is fitting my short legs like a gem. Um, I do kind of wish that the seam on the back came up just a little bit to kind of make it look like I have a little bigger glutes than I actually do, but I can look past it. There's a little bit of action going on right here because of the front seam, but I'm gonna just try to ignore that. <laughs> They also have a really nice little hidden pocket in the band, so you don't see it on the outside. It doesn't interrupt the flow of the leggings, but it is concealed just on the one side. But do you see how stretchy these are? These are the definition of the most comfortable yogi-based leggings ever. There's something I would wear going to the mall, going shopping, and knowing I'm gonna be ultra comfortable. I absolutely am obsessed with this fit. It's also a plus that these are squat proof. So in case I did ever wanna do some downward dog, I think I'm good. But yeah, first impressions, very buttery soft, like second skin. Those are my favorite type of leggings to wear. Very nice Lululemon, I'll give you that. Okay, I feel like if I look at these leggings for too long, I might have problems with my eyesight because they're messing me up just a little bit. My first impressions, I don't love these as much as the other ones, straight up. They're really, really long on me, as you can see. Look at this, baby. Oh, wow. Nothing I can do about that. Not a total fan of this band. <laughs> I'm the kind of gal who likes a nice, chunky band right around the hips right here. This is a little too small for me. It still has that lower support like the other ones, but they're just not as buttery soft and they don't fit my body like a glove like the other ones. So I already know I like the $88 ones a lot better. I also feel like this band is just a little bit loose on me, so I would probably size down again. Not a huge fan of the back either. I feel like this just shrinks my glutes significantly. You have a ton of seamed breakup right here, and I'm just, I just feel like I could do without that. These are squat proof, but I'm never gonna wear them to the gym or ever. <laughs> you have these crazy slanted pockets on the side. They kind of go across your leg, so that's different. I think in terms of uniqueness, this legging would win, but in terms of me actually wearing them and, it, and them being practical for me, especially just going out and about, living my best life, then I would definitely say the $88 ones, those aligns. $168, huh, Lululemon, why? When I can literally get two of the buttery soft aligns, I just, I just, I just can't. A little bit stiffer, so not as comfortable. A little bit on the stiff side, I can feel like I'm wearing something. And if you know me, I like feeling like I'm not wearing anything. I love to feel like I'm naked and I love to feel like my body is just floating. This is like a sausage casing on me. Okay, you flattening out my boots on me like that, little Luna, for $168. Shame on you. This was an interesting one to say the least. Give it a thumbs up if you agree. I swear to you guys, if I did not purchase these leggings myself and I was just handed these leggings, not knowing the price of anything, I dead ass would have thought that the Aligns were the 168 and the, what is this glitch something? Were the $88 ones. That's just based off of my first impression. So by all means, if you love these and you own them, no offense. <laughs> this is just my personal opinion. I definitely prefer buttery, soft, livable leggings over the super patterned, all around kind of look, which just fits a lot stiffer. I personally prefer comfort over crazy. So what do you guys think of these leggings? Comment down below if you own either one of them. I'm very impressed with their Lululemon Aligns, so I definitely think that I'm gonna be purchasing more of these in the future. Let me know what other great Lululemon leggings are out there. Again, I'm really new to this brand, so help a gal out. All right guys, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, Bay and I are kind of toying with the idea of 
doing the most expensive versus cheapest leggings from other brands. So let me know if you like these types of videos and then we'll make some more for you. Definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video.